this video, we will see a problem in which we are going to calculate the deflection for a given member. So here I have a question. A rod having diameter 20 mm is subjected to an axial pull of 60 kN. The length of the member is 2 meter. If capital E, that is Young's modulus, is 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square, find the deformation of the rod. Now this is the question we have. I'll write the data. A rod having diameter 20 mm, D is 20 mm, is subjected to an axial pull of 60 kN. So it is 60 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Next, the length of the member is 2 meter. So it is 2000 mm. If capital E, Young's modulus, it is 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square. Find the deformation of the rod. We have to find out how much is the deformation that is deflection of the rod. Now in this question, first I will draw the diagram. Now here we have a rod. Then this is the axis of the rod. Next, it is subjected to axial pull of 60 kN. So this rod is being pulled. By applying load. Next, when this rod is pulled, then the length of the rod will go on increasing and diameter will go on decreasing. So here if I draw the diagram. So it will look like this when it is elongated that is length increases and the diameter will go on decreasing. So this deflection that is the change in length of the rod is what we have to calculate. So let us try to get the solution for this problem. In the solution part, I'll say that first, since the cross-sectional area of the rod is given by cross-sectional area is circular, so it is pi by 4 d square. So here pi by 4 into diameter is given as 20. So area this comes out to be 314.16 mm square. Next as we have to calculate the deflection I will use the formula for calculation of deflection that Since deflection is given by delta L is equal to PL upon AE, this is the formula of deflection. So now I'll go on putting the values. P that is the load, it is 60 kN given. So 60 into 10 raised to 3. Length of the member was given as 2 meters, so it is 2000 mm so into 2000 divided by area. We have got the value as 314.16 and capital E, Young's modulus, 2 into 10 raised to 5. So from this, I'll get the answer of deflection. And my answer is 1.91 mm.
so here if we look into the question they were telling us to calculate the deformation of the rod and deformation of the rod means the deflection of the rod which we have calculated and that comes out to be 1.91 mm and with this we complete the problem.